New and important developments in the Ukraine-Russia war continue to unfold. Recently, Russia has been suffering heavy losses both in Ukraine and on its own territory. With the latest attack, Russia has suffered a major blow. On Monday, August 28, an explosion took place in the occupied Ukrainian city of Enar Hadar in a building believed to be used for Russia's riot pilots Omon. The incident was the result of an operation carried out by a local resistance movement acting in a cooperation with Ukrainian intelligence. The operation was carried out by a drone strike on the building. Information on the incident was provided by the Defense Intelligence of Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. The explosion occurred in occupied Narodor, specifically in the building in question, which was in use by the Akhmat 1 Omon unit of the Russian Guard. The building is located in temporarily occupied Narodor. The building at 46 Budovnik Street, which used to serve as the local branch of the Ukrainian bank, was seized by Chechen fighters called Kadyrovists and used for their own purposes. The explosion took place at 9.50 on August 28. As a result of the explosion, Russian occupation personnel were injured and vehicles parked in the yard of the building were damaged. This incident stands out as an important development as part of Ukraine's activities in the occupied territories through the local resistance movement. How the U.S. has the explosion in the Russian-occupied city of Enorhodor? What are the implications of such local resistance movements for the course of the war?